And so I get to thinking a lot when I like just be venting, you know, and you start thinking about different things that we are a part of. This world or of this, or the, of this society, right? So my question was to, to you know to the masses. My question was with love, with emotions, with feelings, with all of these things going on that you think are a part of your life or you think dictates you. Does it get in the way of your purpose? You know what I mean? Like let's say you. So fixed on, or I say we. I'm sorry. We're so fixed on being in love, or finding the perfect somebody, or what if I have to be with this person for a lifetime? Some of us even have that as a definitive goal of ours, like an end goal. Like I have to uh, be married, or I have to uh, have kids, or you know. So some of us have that as a as a lifetime end goal so my question was does that get in the way of your purpose you know what I mean like can you really sit there and think about what your purpose is um, why we're set here to live in this world or in this realm and are we able to differentiate between my purpose and what I want so I don't know it and I came up with the fact that a lot of us don't and a lot of us are unhappy and, and not motivated and not moved by certain things because of the fact that we're chasing down the wrong path or we set certain expectations for the wrong things and we find out that these things aren't fulfilling at all why because you're now chasing emotions that aren't representative of what you're supposed to be. You know what I mean? So it's, it's rather hard. Um, and it's just a question of why do we love outside of our, of ourselves, of our circle of family? You know what I mean? Like why do we have the desire to want or yearn for another mate, mate's attention? for them to be accepting of you or for them to understand you or for them, you know, when you when you clearly could have that from your family. And I'm not saying that she's bad to branch, I'm just asking questions on um, why, why is that something that we put ourselves in? Why do we put ourselves in that box? You know what I mean? So, I don't know what too much to come up with. You know what I mean? It's just a lot of different scenarios where you say to yourself, is this what I want? Is this good for me? Is this something that benefits me in the long run? Because emotions are real. Uh, love is real. Feelings that we get as humans, it's, it's, it's defined as just, you know, being human. And we all fall or are all susceptible to it. So. You have to then ask yourself, like, is it the right path? Am I doing something right? Am I doing something wrong? Where it may not even be a right or wrong thing. You know what I mean? But I think most definitely we can be, uh, we can deviate from our path or where we need to be. And some of us fall victim to trying to be only in love or so deep in love that we totally forget our end goal and I'm just having a discussion open discussion about why how to get out of it or how to even manage or maintain it because I think once you do find something that's of love or in love you know now what do we um, is, is, is marriage that last step is marriage even necessary uh, do do our spirits or our souls uh, call or yearn for this that we unwillingly chase or desire it because we were of before we got here now if you're not following I'm not I'm not trying to lose you you understand what I'm saying but you gotta understand the fact that 
uh, if it's in, if it's a feeling like in you, sometimes maybe it could be um, a, a different entity or a different being that's 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 doing that you can't control or you can't understand yourself. So, like I say, I'm just having an open discussion with myself or with you all on, on, on the fact of the matter that we are a devia we are a deviation of different thought process, love and feelings, emotions that get in the way of things that we can be much greater in if we didn't stop uh, pursuing. Not to say that you have to stop pursuing.